Darrell Jazz Johnson, Gospel Herald, CitySportsReport.com, here with uh, Orlando Magic forward and, and St. John's alum, Mo Hark Maurice Harkless. Maurice, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Um, how are you? Good, thanks. What are your earliest memories of, of Madison Square Garden? Um, well, I mean, I, I've been to a, I went to a couple games when I was a kid, you know, just uh, watching, watching the Knicks play. I would, I would always get uh, seats high up and then just try and work my way down as low as I can. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, then, of course, playing here in college, that was always, that was, that was great. I loved it. And, um, I mean, it was a dream come true to actually be on the court that I just always dreamed about playing on. So who was your favorite, Nick, when you used to sneak down to the good seats and, and watch the, the, the team play? Uh, Spreewell. Uh, I used to love, he was, he was, he was good. I used to love uh, Spreewell. Uh, I think that's, I, I was, I'm too young to be able to, like, I, was, I wasn't able to watch those guys like Ewing and John Starks and all them guys, but uh, Spreewell was my favorite, Nick. And, and what are your, your memories of the first time that you, you actually played on the court here? Um, it was uh, in college. I think the game was against Arizona. Uh, it was a, like a preseason tournament, and uh, or not a preseason, like it's just a you know how they have the tournaments in the beginning of the year. Um, I mean, it was it was great. Like I said, it was it was surreal. I mean, to finally be on this floor, and then uh, actually being on this floor in the NBA was another completely different feeling. Uh, it's 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 totally different, and um, I mean, I think that's when I re finally realized like how how big this this venue is. So I'm sure you got a lot of family and friends here tonight. Who's who's going to be in the stands watching you tonight? Uh, just, just, just some friends, you know, a, a couple family members, and but just, just a few friends, you know. Um, I gotta I have some time to catch up with them after the game, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them. As a young player, how important to your development is it to to be on a team, uh, fourth youngest roster in the NBA, to have people who are young just like you are? Uh, it's important. I mean, we all we all get to grow together. You know, I think I think that's important, and um, you know, grow as a team, grow individually, and also build relationships with each other off the court, and um. I think that helps us on the court as well. And there's a veteran on the team, Ben Gordon, a, a Big East guy as well. Like, like, well, UConn isn't in the Big East anymore, but he played in the Big East. Uh, what type of relationship have, have you uh, built with him? Uh, you know, I think a pretty good relationship. You know, Ben's also from the New York area, so uh, we have that in common. And um, I think we, I've, I've actually talked to him once before. We actually were on the same team. So uh, I think we, we have a pretty good relationship. Uh, final final question. Um, what are what are some things you worked on during the summer to to develop your game to to become a better player? Uh, you know, I, I pretty much worked on everything. You know, um, but I'm um, working on my ball handling, my shooting, uh, body control around the rim, and stuff like that. And, um, I mean, just gotta just keep continue to work. You know, um, never get satisfied, and just 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 continue to be hungry and want to get better. All right. Thanks for your time. Good luck out there on the court. Thank you.